how's it going? It's William from Rocket Zero and welcome to another Pixel Art Tutorial. In this video, we're going to be building Lucas from Stranger Things. And for this little guy, we're going to be using some black wool, grey wool, red wool, hardened clay sand, light grey wool, white wool, and then some green wool for his t-shirt. So let's get started. We're going to begin this Pixel Art by placing nine blocks of our black wool and we can start right up next to it because it doesn't overlap. So here we go, we're gonna place nine blocks of our black wool. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now after we do our row of nine black wools, we're gonna place a black wool on each end. So a black over there, a black over here, and then let's go ahead and fill it in with some gray wool just like that. So that's gonna be the start of his shoe. Then we're gonna continue by placing two black wools and then three gray wools. Now every so often, after we build a large portion of the pixel art, I'm gonna be taking a step back, allowing you guys to have an opportunity to hit pause. So at any point in this video, if you feel like I'm going way too fast and you need a little bit of extra building time, feel free to stop the video every so often, whenever you need to. But I'll be taking a couple steps back so you guys can get the whole thing in frame. Okay, so let's keep going. We're gonna place another two blocks of sand and then another black wool on the right. Then over here, we're going to add one, two, three, followed up by a row of four sand blocks in a black wool on the right. Then we're gonna grab our sand again and we're gonna do a row of five sand blocks with a block of black wool on the right. Then we're gonna place a black wool with a... What are we gonna do? We're gonna place two more red wool. I almost had to look at my notes for a second. I almost forgot, but yeah. We are going to place a black wool and actually, no, no, no. We're gonna place a black wool and then a sand block and then two red wools. Good thing I looked at the notes again. So yeah, sorry about that, but just quick recap. We're gonna place a black wool, a sand, and then two red wools. See, that's why you gotta pay attention. Even I just made a mistake there, but we fixed it. We're all good now. No more mistakes from now on. Okay, so after you have those two red wools, what we are going to do is that over here, we are gonna go ahead and place five black wools going up. So one, two, three, four, five with two blocks of our light gray above those five black wools. Then we're gonna grab our red, and right over here, we're gonna bring it all the way up till it's right next to this light gray. And then the other red, we're gonna bring it all the way up, but we're gonna stop one block short. Then over here, we're gonna skip a block, and we're gonna go one, two, three, and then a block to the left. Then we're gonna grab our hardened clay, which is the color that we're using for his skin tone, and we're gonna add two rows of three hardened clays. So make sure you add one, two, three, and then on the bottom, one, two, three, just like that. Then on the bottom of that, we are gonna add three black wools and then four on the left side. So one, two, three, four. So let's take a step back. I would definitely recommend to stop the video here and just double check. Make sure that you got everything where it needs to be. So this will be a fantastic stopping point if you haven't decided to pause it yet at all. Okay, so let's keep going. We're gonna fill this in. Wait, actually, no, we're not gonna fill it in. We're gonna do that later. We're gonna have two diagonal black wools on this left side, just like that. And then we're gonna place one, two, three, four blocks of our black wool, like so. Then we're gonna place one black wool right here in this corner, and then on the bottom next to this red, we're gonna go ahead and place five black wools moving towards the right. So one, two, three, four, five. Then over here, we're gonna have to do something kind of tricky. We're gonna add two sands, and then we're gonna place just a red, so we can place a black wool on the bottom. 
and then a couple more blocks of sand just to fill it in because you know when you build sand it's gonna fall straight down so we always gotta be worried about that just make sure to pay attention so yeah just add this little section just like you see there and then we're gonna continue because over here what we're gonna do is that you see guys you see you see this line well we're just gonna bring the black wool down Whoop. So there we go. Make sure you have those three black wools like so. And then on the right side, we're going to add eight black wools. So it ends up being nine because this counts as a block. So we need to add eight to make it a row of nine. So we're going to add eight blocks right now. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're going to go up with a black wool. And we're just going to fill this in with seven blocks of our gray wool, just like we did over there. So once again, make sure that this is nine black wools on the bottom. Then over here, we're going to add two black wools, then three gray wools, and two sand blocks. Then above this three gray wools, we're going to add three black wools, but in this particular shape. And then we're going to add two rows of four sand blocks. So one, two, three, four. And again, one, two, three, four. Then we're going to add a black wool with a sand on the left. Now above this sand block, we're going to go up by five black wool. So one, two, three, four, and five. Then on this right side, we're going to go ahead and place one, whoops, one, two, three, and a black wool towards the right. And then what we're going to do here in this section, we're going to place two rows of six red wool, just like that. You really don't even have to count it. Just start here, work your way up, move to the left, and work your way down. And there you go. You have your two rows of six red wools. Then we're going to do the little middle shirt area. So for that, we're going to grab a row of green, then a row of white, a row of green, row of white, and a row of green. So you're just going to do green, white, green, white, green, all the way to the tippity top. So this would be another great stopping point if you guys need so, or if you not need so, if you guys need to. Then in this little area over here, we're going to grab our hardened clay and we're going to place two rows of three hardened clays with three black wools on the bottom and then four black wools on the right side so i know that was a lot but it's actually pretty simple quick recap you're going to place two rows of three hardened clays three black wools on the bottom and then four black wools on the right and then what we're going to do over here is that we're going to place two diagonal black wools just like that with red underneath And then in this section, we are going to grab our light gray. We're going to place a black on the top. And then over here, just so we can start to build something, we're going to place two reds. But we're going to fill that in later at the end of the video. So don't worry about it now. But we are going to worry about set right here. We need to add a black wool. And then on the right, we're going to go up by eight. So one, two, whoops. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight black wools. Then we're going to place hardened clay with two white wools on the top, a hardened clay. Let's just take a little break now. Why not? So let's go ahead and finish the eye. That was a really quick break. Let's finish the eye by placing two black wools. Then a white on the bottom and a white on the top. Then what we're going to do is that we're going to do just a quick line of parting clay right down the middle here. Just like that. Because we're going to add two white wools. A cube out of four black wools and then two white wools on the side and two white wools on the bottom so just make sure you add that that's gonna be his other eyes pretty simple shape remember you're gonna add two whites 
on the top, then you're gonna make a cube out of four black wools, and then two white wools on the left and two white wools on the bottom. Then, right here, we're gonna add just one and two blocks of our black wool. Then we're gonna grab our hardened clay and starting here on top of this white, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. So we're just gonna do like a quick row, just like that. And then we're gonna surround this section by doing this and bringing it down. Then let's just start filling in the face. I know we fill things in at the end of the video, but just so it, oh no, I broke it. But just so it looks a bit, you know, better, Let's go ahead and fill it in. Then on top of this black wool, we're going to add three hardened clays. And then one, two, three again. And that's going to be his ear. So now it's time to start building his hair. But first, I would definitely recommend to stop the video right here. Because you, you guys can see pretty much how the entire face should be up to this point. It's a great stopping point. So now let's continue. What we're going to do is so right here, next to this, we're going to go up by seven black wool. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there you go. Then we're going to skip a block here. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five. Talking about five, we're going to do another five above this white hardened clay. So one, two, three, four, five. So remember, this is going to be seven, then five on the left and five on the right. Then we're going to do seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we're going to move over here towards the right and we're gonna do two rows of four so one two three four and again one two three four and let's just go ahead and connect this two rows like so just bring it to the left and then at the end all you have to do is just fill it in and also to fill in the red shirt so while you guys do that, because you don't really need my explanation for that, I'm sure you guys have it under control. But once again, fill in the top of the head with our black wool, and then the shirt, obviously, with red. And that's how you make Lucas from Stranger Things. So if you guys enjoyed that video, please hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you haven't, so you can stay up to date with all our newest videos. And as always, thank you so, so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. Tell your friends about us, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.